Good evening and welcome to the Wildcats down here at Hazen Union High School in Hartford Butts. Your Wildcat boys in action tonight. Home opener, Dave Morris Classic 7th Annual. Taking on the Randolph Galloping Ghosts here in the second game. It was Lamoille beating Williamstown in the first game, so they move on to the championship game. Winner of this game will play in the championship game. Loser plays the consolation against uh, Williamstown. Action gonna be fast and furious tonight. Gonna try and match up some names and numbers as quickly as I can. We've got points on the board already. That was Ethan Dabignon. Putting the Galloping Ghosts up to zip. And so with the call for ATTV, channel 1080 on the cable dial, streaming worldwide on archive at www.attv.us. Jim on camera tonight. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports. 472-5522, we support Hayes Athletics and the Green Mountain Technology Center. Underneath, the Prez, Lincoln Mitchell evens the score. Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future at GMTCC. Packed house tonight. Good basketball. Catch my breath here after doing the uh, lineups there. Randolph. Looking to move in against the defense. Wildcats defending Division Three champions. And I'll tell you folks, we've got a lot of basketball over the next couple weeks. Uh, Lady Cats opened up their season, opened up their home season last night here against Danville, beat them. So their record's at one and one. Turnaround doesn't throw a rebound. Tyler Rivard. Underneath, beautiful. Rivard. Makes it a 4-2 score, Hayes in the head. So yeah, the Lady Cats beat Danville to even the record at 1-1. One one. They opened up with a uh, loss on the road up in Petersburg. They'll play, play Oxbow tomorrow night here at the Den. And of course we have the Constellation Game Championship game Friday night. And then a whole bunch more basketball next week. Uh, we're here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday nights. Shot outside, that's short. I don't know if you call that a rebound. X-Man, can't go, Rebard underneath, so strong. Tyler Rebard, senior, rebounding machine. Underneath, Hazen's gonna come out with it. Let him just a little bit too far. Pass back underneath, wide open. Was Chase Higgins. 6-4, Hazen, 5-16 left to go here in the first. Underneath, Rivard. Six points already for Tyler Rivard. Over there on the far side, here in the middle, Marcus White with Mitchett on him. White drops the pass inside for Hanford. Hanford gets tied up with Jaden Baker. Comes the X-Man. Yeah, on the near side, hands off to Brendan Moody. X-Man drops inside, rebound. On the far side, Moody puts up a three, doesn't go off the rim, rebound underneath for the rebound. Tyler Rebound continues to rewrite the record books for rebounds. 10-4, your score. 420 left to go in the first. Popping up. Nice shot, Ben Hanford. <laughs> Referee Daniel Myers, Myers with the whistle. Calling the foul on Hanford. That's his first. First foul of the game. Thanks, man. Inbounds. Rebound. Ten points. Double figures. Four minutes left to go here in the first for Tyler Rebound. Shot from outside. Doesn't drop. 
Rebound, rebound. Nice pass, Brendan Moody. Brendan Moody, shot and the foul. His first points as a Wildcat for the sophomore. Go to the line and complete the three-pointer the old-fashioned way. Referees tonight are Tory Clough, Daniel Myers, and Donald Taylor. Moody. Sinks it. 15-6 your score. 3.45 left to go in the first. Joey Ferris, pass over. Diving in. <laughs> Ferris, back to Davin Young. Davin Young, a junior. Pass over. Pass back inside. Looking inside. Nice pass inside to White. White couldn't make nothing with it with Mitchell right there. Cats. Made the turnover. Three point attempt by the Prez. Turn around. Watch it as rebound. Prez underneath with the rebound. Makes it 17 6. Hanford. Hanford. Pass inside. Matt McHugh. Turn around short. Rebound comes up with that long pass over. Baker up underneath. The butcher, the baker. The two point maker on that one. <laughs> Coach Jeremy Rowling wants a timeout. With uh, Hazen out to a 19 6 lead here with 2.37 left to go in the first period. Here on this Wednesday, December 14th. Jim on camera, did I say that earlier? Jim on camera tonight. Lance Hall with the call. Let's give our, I give our sponsors a quick read there. Uh, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain, Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Uh, Jumpstart your future. Applications are now open for any GMTCC programs. They include culinary arts, electrical technology, uh, HVAC, automotive technology, Allied Health, <coughs> and a host of others. Randolph with the ball in. Pass broken up. They're up and running. You look down for a second, you missed something. Rebard. Trying to feed it inside to Mitchell. There's Rebard with the steal. 21 6. Referees give Hayes in the ball. And basketball trivia for you. Uh, 1988, the Miami Heat won their first game on this day, 89-88 over the Clippers. Started out 0-17 before they won their first game. Baker. Shot and a foul. Baker with a shot, chance to complete the three-pointer the old-fashioned way. In and out, rebound, rebound, double team. Pass back out, that's a little hot for the X-Man. Cats with a turnover. Overall record for these two teams is 32 and 12. They played their first game back in 1960. Uh, Hazen holds the edge on their home court here at the Den, 24 to six. Down in Randolph, we have a slight lead, eight to six in the overall playing down there. That comes courtesy of Coach Hill's extensive record-keeping.
book that I now have a physical copy of this. <laughs> the stats he has in here are amazing. I'm, I'm hoping to use a lot more of them coming up this season. Been a little pressed for time going into this game, but we're going to delve into some of the stats, and it's a lot of fun. Hartman, I believe that was a three-second call. I mean, that's uh, Myers, Daniel Myers, in the three-second call. Hartman was the referee in the first game. Inside, the Prez. Lincoln Richard with six points now. Here's Ferris. Davignon drives. Referee Don Taylor blows his whistle. Hand check on the X-Man. Moody goes in. Cats will line things up here. 50 seconds left to go in the first. A 25-6 lead. Baker high off the glass. Doesn't go. Rebound. Mitchell. The Prez. Eight points now for the senior. Ferris trying to come up with a steal quick. Baker right in there. Layup. Yes. Jaden Baker. Six points for the senior. 20 seconds left here in the first. 29 6 is your score. Trying to pass inside. That was uh, Ryan the Little Lion. Morrison got a hand on that. Turn around, four seconds. And he traveled. Cats will get the ball with 1.9. Mitchell's got the iron to throw at the length. Baker throws up a long three, which is going to fall short. And at the end of the first quarter, it is your Hazen Union Wildcats up by a score of 29 to 6. Courtesy of, uh, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. These are all unofficial. 12 points by Tyler Rebar. Jane Baker with 6. Lincoln Mitchell with 8. Brendan Moody with 3. Over on the other side, Chase Higgins with 2. Marcus White with 2. Ben Hanford with 2. And uh, once again, this is the uh, second game. Of the Dave Morse Classic opening night, uh, Lamoille came out on top of Williamstown in the opening game. So the winner of this game will play Lamoille in the championship game. The loser plays Williamstown in the consolation Friday night, uh, December 16th. And, uh, you know, Dave Morris, oh, man, I can't say enough about the man. Um, longtime sports writer for the uh, Heart of Gazette and just a great, great human being. Uh, one of the nicest guys I've ever met. One of the most knowledgeable guys of, of sports that I've ever talked to. And his Rolodex of people that he knew and was associated, I don't think will ever be equaled. I, I'll, give, I'll give you an example. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, I used to go to football games up in Montreal. We used to go up to an Alouettes game when it was Columbus Day down here. It was Canadian Thanksgiving up there. They always had a matinee game at 1 o'clock that Monday. I told Dave I was headed up. He goes, yeah, stop by the press box. He, he dropped a name. He says, tell him you're with me. Can you say my name? And go in and have a sandwich and <laughs> meet the players and stuff. I didn't dare to do it, but I have no doubt that if I would have gone up and said, hey, I know Dave Morris. He told me to ask for so-and-so and that I would have had complete access. That's how extensive his background went and, and knowledge and, and people that, that, you know, from the Dave Morris tree. Phenomenal human being. Back to the action. A lot of dribbling. Broken up. By rebound. Here's the X-Man. He's looking across for Gabe Mitchell. Couldn't quite get it there. Lead up. Off the glass too hard. That was Davignon. Here's Rebard. Cats up and running, as you know they do. And they're going to call Rebard on the charge on that one. Player established position. Won't argue that one a bit. 
So once again, we have the, fri the final here, Friday, December 16th, final and a consolation games. And then uh, the boys play next Tuesday versus Stowe. And I did not see who scored those points. I was looking to see who, what the games were coming up. So the, I'll give, just give them to the Ghosts, make it 29-8. I'm not sure who scored it. I wasn't I was looking down at my notes. X-Man. This is on that one. This is Shea Fontanella that had the ball there momentarily. Luke Tucker Shepard. Nowhere to go. As Ryan, the little lion, was all over him. The X-Man with the three. His first points of the game. Rebound, Hazen. X-Man. Passes out, Moody. Doesn't quite get the three. Moody right back on defense, though. Fontanella puts up a shot. Doesn't go. Rebound, Rebard. X-Man, beautiful pass inside. Ryan, the little lion. Get some points. 34 8 your score. 520 left to go in the first half. Fontanella trying to get around, swings the pass out. Uh, Tucker Shepard gets it back. Hanford. Pass over to Dabigan. Back outside. Fontanella inside drives, puts up a shot short. Draws a foul. Foul called on uh, Ryan Morrison. As Jaden Baker and Lincoln Mitchell check back in, Ryan Morrison and Gabe Mitchell come out. Randolph looking inbounds. Chase Higgins. Pass, he's looking inside for Fontanella. Pass broken up. Rebird. Just get the shot, draws a foul. He's gonna shoot two. <laughs> Referee Don Taylor with the call. Foul called on Chase Higgins, his first. Sends Rebar to the line, shooting two. 4.52 left to go in the first half. Cats up 34-8. Make it 35-8. Rebound since the second one. 14 points for Tyler Rebound. Fontanella, pass over. Higgins, with Moody on Higgins, foul line. Trap, nice pass inside. Puts a shot up. Tough shot for Colton Fordham. X-Man. Short, rebound, Rebound. Still fighting for the rebound. Ghosts come up with it. And Higgins wants that one back. Led Fontanella just a little too far. Brendan Moody taking a turn at running the offense as the X-Man catches a breath. Moody, pass over. Mitch it up, shot. No, that was Tyler, Tyler Rebar. Fontanella, pass into the student section. 
He's looking to get it to, uh, I believe that's Blake Baker. He was trying to get that to. Here's Moody. Tyler, top of the key. Moody back, Baker. Morgan Mitchell swings it over to Lincoln. Moody, long three. Good. Brendan Moody. Six points. 3.20 left to go in the first half. Cats up 41-8. Turn around. High off the glass. That was Marcus White. Four points now. Moody double dribble. It's be Baker on the inbounds to Fontanella. Fontanella working against Morgan Mitchell. Carry. Referee Don Taylor with the carry call. Morgan Mitchell looking to try to get one over to Lincoln. A lot of blue jerseys there. Davignon inside. Turn around. Back out. Fontanella, top of key over Baker. He was looking inside for Fordham. And Ben Hanford is going to check in, and Fontanella is going to come out. Tough going so far for the Galloping Ghosts here at the Wildcats' den. Hazen Union High School in Harvard, Vermont. Dave Morris Classic. Hazen looking to uh, punch a ticket to the championship game Friday night against the Lamoille Lancers. Who, uh, for much of the game in the early game, led Williamstown by quite a bit. Williamstown made a game of it. Uh, came back, got to within five or six towards the end. And well, hung on to win. I did not get a final. X Man off the front of the rim, short. Davignon. Two minutes left to go in the first half. Cats at 41 10. Three pointer. Marcus White. Seven points. Once again, there is a galloping ghost player who did score who I did not see. So uh, these points are, again, unofficial. And somebody out there for the ghost has two points that I have not accounted for, other than I just gave it to the team. 41 13, you score 149 left to go in the first half. X Man inbounds. Mitchell drop pass in. Rebard. Shot and a foul. Tyler with 18 points. Foul called on Davignon. Matt McHugh checks in. Colton Fordham's comes out. Rebard at the line. Short. Went in and got his own rebound. Scored. Great hustle. 20 points. First half. Retire Rebard. And I don't know how many rebounds. A bunch. Lost the handle on that one. Did McHugh. Here's the X-Man. Oh, beautiful pass over. Shot up. I did not see who. I think it was the X-Man. I'm going to give it to the X-Man. I think it was him. There were a lot of white jerseys in there. My stack keeping tonight, bowling shoe ugly. Blocking foul called by Tori Clough.
Foul called on Rivard, his second. Three-pointer attempt by Davignon. Doesn't drop. Foul called. Uh, Gabe Mitchell, his first. 51 seconds left to go in the first half. Cats up 47-13. Back out, that's Hanford. Cross court, Baker. Back to Hanford. Baker. Throws up a shot. Almost went. The heck, the only shot you don't make is one you don't take. X-Man, switches left hand, almost got that one going up underneath. Shot in the foul. Ryan, the little lion, Morrison. Morrison, teach the three-point play. Ten seconds. Turn around, spin. Danny Myers calls Gabe Mitchell his second foul. Goes to inbounds underneath their own hoop. Seven seconds trailing 50 to 13. Pass up. Gonna have to shoot. Nice pass. Couldn't quite come up with it though. Somebody's gonna put, the, put up a shot off the side. It's gonna be it's gonna, it's gonna be no good. And at the end of the first half, it is your Hazen Union Wildcats starting off the defense of their Division III championship in fine fashion tonight against the Randolph Galloping Ghosts. They jumped out to a 50-13 lead. Once again, this is Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Jim on camera. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522, we support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Jumpstart your future. We'll be back in time for the start of the second half. All right, second half action about to tip off here in uh, about 30 seconds or so. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080. On your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Jim on camera. Our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics. And the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Jumpstart your future. And uh, this, is, of course, is the uh, opening night of the 7th Annual Dave Moore's Classic Basketball Tournament. Second game. In the first game, it was Lemoyne beating Williamstown to put themselves in the championship game. Hazen currently leading 50 to 13 over the Randolph Galloping Ghosts. Get some point totals here for you. Tyler Rivard with 20, Xavier Hill with five, Jaden Baker with six, Brendan Moody with six, Ryan Morrison with uh, five, and the Prez Lincoln Mitchell with eight. And I have gotten the mystery score for Randolph, and there's a three-pointer that's off. Uh, it was Ethan Davignon who had the shot that I didn't get. Uh, Chase Higgins had two, Marcus White had uh, seven, and then Hanford had two. Fighting for the rebound underneath, almost stepped out of bounds. Kept it in, shot, doesn't go, drop, rebound, rebound. Comes a pass from Baker, cross, a little hot for Moody. Hits our new athletic director, Olu, with a pass instead. Great guy. Got to know him a little bit over the last few nights. We're going to get to know each other very well over the next few nights. we got uh, two more nights of basketball this week and four next week. So busy, busy times here at the Den. Constellation game and the final will be played Friday. That's Joey Ferris with a shot. And also in between games, Friday night, uh, going to be a big time celebration. All eight of our championship teams, players have been invited. They're going to have the unfurling of the banner from last year's championship team. 
And it's going to be a great night of remembrance and celebration and uh, fellowship here at the Den. Uh, I'm looking really, really forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Teams from the 80s and 90s, a lot of them from the 2000s. Shot up. Levard keeps collecting the points and the rebounds. So looking forward to that night. Tomorrow night we'll have uh, Oxbow taking on our Lady Cats. Lady Cats with a current record of 1-1. One and one. Lost on the road to Enosburg last week. Beat Danville last night here at the Den. Chase Higgins called on the foul, says referee Don Taylor. X-Man, pass it over, rebound. Four. Shot was at Baker with the three pointer, I believe. I was looking down, I, I just passed a note. We're going to give that one to uh, the butcher, the Baker, the three point maker. I saw some rounds go up. I'm going to say it was a three. Baker, spin around underneath, off the glass. Jaden Baker, 57 15. Higgins, pass back out, Davignon. Inside, Matt McHugh, pass back out, Davignon. Foul called on the X-Man. Gabe Mitchell checks in, X. Catches breath on the bench. 57-15 is your score. 5-10 left to go in the third. Pass inside. Looking to go with it. Ferris. Was looking back inside for White. Couldn't get it there. Moody. Tripped up. They're going to call uh, Marcus White to the body. And they block officially, as they call, by referee Tory Clough. The Prez on the inbounds. Cross courts. Gabe Mitchell. Inside. Reverb. Back out. Baker. Richard with White all over him. White picks up a second foul. Hazel inbounds here on the near side. Gabe back over Moody inside. Revard. Foul called. Higgins on the arm. That's his third. Reverb. Back in. Off the glass. Doesn't go. Rebound. Mitchell fighting for it inside. Randolph comes up with it. It was on this day in 1977 that the movie Saturday Night Fever opened in theaters. Sales of polyester suits skyrocketed right after that. It's also Roast Chestnuts Day. If you haven't roasted any chestnuts today, you got a few hours left to do it. Pass in, broken up by Mitchell. Ryan the Little Lion, Morrison comes in. 
Gabe Mitchell out. Ferris on the outside, pass inside. Looking to go up, nope, doesn't get it. Shoots the three off. That was uh, Davignon attempted with a three-point attempt. Here comes Moody. Revard on the outside. Going to drive, nope, pass inside. Moody, three-pointer, if it goes, Brendan Moody with the three. Gives him nine points and a 60-15 lead for the Cats. Season opener, home opener for the Cats. Turnover. And that was Ethan Davignon defending their Division Three crown. Big time celebration Friday nights in between games. Pass inside, Rebard. In checks, Luke Tucker Shepard and Shea Fontanella. Chase Higgins is going to come out, and Marcus White out for the Galloping Ghosts. A couple of subs going in for us, too, as well. Uh, trying to pick up a winner. Morgan Mitchell is in, and uh, Dustin Tangerella. Shot short. Moody, cross court, Tangerelli. There's Rebard. Glass doesn't go. Foul called. Foul called on Ethan Davignon. First of two. Sinks them both. Foul called on Morgan Mitchell. Gavin Stratton coming in. Tyler coming out. Uh, 24 points. Ton of rebounds. Great play. Shoots, he scores, he passes. It's a great all around player. Pandrelli skies up for that one. Shot short. Underneath. Ryan the Little Lion fighting for his life under there. They can't come up with it, though. Looking to go coast to coast, up over the back of his head. That's a Carter Hill move right there. It was Ethan Davignon. The thrill. Used that shot. Pretty good last year. Gavin Stratton. No, oh, that is, uh, I think that was Sully LaFleur. Sully LaFleur with a score there. Shot doesn't go. Sully inbounds to Dustin Pangarelli. Broken up by Ferris. Ferris picks Stratton's pocket. Can't follow up though. There's a shot in by Matt McHugh. Foul called on Ferris. Stratton will inbounds with 128 left to go in the third. Cats up 64-19. Morrison tries to get it to go. Spinner doesn't go. 
Ferris launches a three from way outside. Nothing but net. Joey Ferris, five points for the junior. 64-22. Stratton loses his dribble. 104 left to go in the third. Marcus White in, Matt McHugh out. Morrison out, Gabe Mitchell in. The American Dream, Dustin Panzarelli. Shot in the foul by Sully of Lern. Sully of Regiment. Crowd lets him know he's a freshman. Yes, that's what we'll call him. If anybody who knows wrestling knows uh, Dusty Rhodes, who's the American Dream, uh, Dustin Panzarelli. <laughs> Players scrambling down there. Everybody up. They're good. It's all good. Rubbin's racing. Or I could go with Dustin Rhodes, uh, Dusty Rhodes' son, Dustin. Yeah, it's Dustin Pandrelli, who, of course, is gold dust. I like gold dust. Dustin Pandrelli is now gold dust. Shots. Doesn't drop. There he is. Oh, okay, sorry, it's Stratton. Couldn't handle the pass. 15 seconds left to go in the third. 66-22. Been all cats all game. Ferris launches another three. That one doesn't go. Point eight on the clock. Flynn inbounds. Broken up. Ferris launches one. No good. Short. And at the end of three, it is your Hazen Union Wildcats here in the Dave Morris Classic, leading the Randolph Gallagher Ghosts by 66 22. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Jim on camera. Sponsors tonight Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472 5522. We support Hazen Athletics and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center. Jumpstart your future. Applications are now open for any GMTCC program. Uh, those include business administration, construction technology, cooperative education, exploratory pre-technology, forest and land management, and a host of others. So, you know, just to recap here, the coach, the uh, yeah, Coach Hill and his uh, cats, is what I'm trying to say, uh, leading off tonight, home opener, season opener, defending their Division Three crown here in the Dave Morse Classic, the eighth annual, seventh annual Dave Morse Classic. Of course, Dave Morse, again, longtime sports writer for the Gazette, and one of the finest human beings I've ever known. He did so much for so many. Not only for just Hazen, he was a sports fan. Uh, you, any game around, he knew the players, he knew the coaches, whether it was our, one of our most intense rivals or a team from a far off county. He had the connections everywhere with everybody and I never, ever, ever heard anyone have a single solitary negative comment to ever make about Dave Morse. Just one of the most stand-up, fine human beings that, uh, again, I've ever had the pleasure to know. Ferris wants another three. In and out. Fighting for it over here on the side. Bodies on the floor. Coach Jeremy really can't believe it. Giving it to White. 
But that is what Danny Meyer says, and that's what we'll go with. Called on Gavin Stratton. It's Ferris, pass over. Three pointer, short. Liam Shurkowitz will inbounds the ball. Look at the gold dust. Dustin Pandarelli over Stratton. Underneath, pass back out, Jerkowitz. And that'll be a foul on Shea Fontanella. <laughs> Hazel inbounds from underneath their own basket. Blake Connor checks in, and Joey Ferris will come out. Driglitz, foul shot, good. Turn into one and one. Morgan Mitchell in, Dustin. Pantarelli. Still, I'm still flip-flopping between Gold Dust and the American Dream. Trick went second free throw. Sinks it. Pass inside. Blocking foul called. Morgan, was that Morgan Mitchell, I think? Yes, his second foul. Goes inbounds underneath their own hoop. 6.46 left to go in the game. Davidian on the inbounds. And foul called on Sully Lafon, his second. That'll send uh, Marcus White. In and out, misses front of the one one rebound from the flow. Spratt travels. Shea Fontanella. We're going to move against Gavin Spratt. Here's Mitchell out. Davidian back over. And Randolph still looking to create something. Whole lot of white jerseys there. Foul on white. And it will be Suddenly, little flame going to the line, shooting the front end of a one and one. The 
Thurman. First shot rolls in for the freshman. Get five points on the night. A little hard on the second. A strong rebound underneath. We've got a tie up. Jump ball possession here. We'll give the ball to the Galloping Ghosts. It's on this day in uh, 1984 that Howard Cosell retired from Monday Night Football. I don't think there's ever been a finer booth than Howard Cosell, Dandy Don Meredith, and Frank Gifford on Monday Night Football. Hazen brings it back the other way. Stratton. Brendan Moody with the three. Second of the half. Third of the game. Gives him 12 points. Although ESPN on Sunday Night Football, I'm trying to remember the third. Uh, was it Mike Tirico, Paul McGuire, and Joe Theismann? were highly entertaining on ESPN Sunday Night Football for a few years. I uh, can't remember when it was. I want to say late 80s, early 90s, maybe. Those guys were great. But uh, the original Dandy Don, Frank Gifford, and Howard Cosell. Phenomenal. Shea Fontanella with a three-pointer. And the Flem answers back with a three-pointer. Sully LaFlem. Called on Gavin Stratton. Sully lives up in Greensboro. Ben with myself. He lives on the other side of the tracks. The good side. Good side of the tracks. Or where the tracks used to be in Greensboro. Ben. First foul shot by Ethan Davignon is good. Second shot, nothing but mix. Davignon, six points for the junior. 75-27, you score 4-13 left to go in the game. So we will have Randolph and Williamstown tipping off at 5.30 Friday night in the consolation game. And then it will be uh, a big time ceremony celebrating all of the championships that Hazen has won. The American Dream, Dustin Panzarelli misses on that three-pointer. Celebrating all of our champions. I believe there's eight teams in all. Uh, people flying in from all over the country. Uh, and players, coaches. Uh, everybody's going to be here for that. And then it will be Hazen against Lamoille and the final of the seventh annual Dave Morris Classic right here at the Den Friday night. Check it out. His first foul shot. Good. Doesn't get the roll on that one. Fontanella. Carey. Stratton. Foul call on Blake Baker. Sends Gavin Stratton to the line. Stratton, a sophomore. First foul shot, good. Yeah. 
Second one. Good. Gavin Stratton makes his score 78 27. Fontanella passes over here on the near side. That's Davidian inside. He was looking inside for White. And Morgan Mitchell travels. Fontanella, three pointer off the rim. Joey Ferris checks back in. Marcus White out. Grabbing on, looking to inbounds. Saves it. Back in. Coach Jeremy, really? All right, we're gonna have Don Taylor call over uh, Daniel Myers to talk about this. Really, kind of things between the three of them, they should be able to come up with uh, something, some sort of cost, some sort of explanation or something. As to the call, I'm shortening it up to the Dream, Dustin Pandarelli. Short for the American Dream, of course. Morgan Richard high off the glass and go rebound. Uh, ball bounces and ping pongs around. Gonna stay here at Hazen. Rickwitz over to the dream. Dustin Angarelli can't get the ball to drop. Rickwitz with the rebound. Pass up. And still doesn't go. I thought that went through the net. Huh. It didn't. I thought it fell. Fontanella. Baker over on the far side. Shot. And that was Davignon. Eight points for Ethan Davignon. Inside. Foul called. Davignon called for the foul, his third. Uh, they're over the limits, so we'll be shooting two, I believe, for the rest of the game with 2.02 left and the score at 78-29. Sullivan the flame at the line. Short. Ryan the Little Lion Morrison. And that one does not go either, but Yerkowitz underneath, Yerkowitz. Five points for the junior, Liam Chickowitz. Foul called on Gavin Stratton for the hand check. So Randolph will be shooting one once. And in checks, Ryan the Little Lion Stratton out. I gotta find it. It was either a book or a movie that I used to read or watch with my kids where I got the Ryan the Little Lion nickname. I've got to figure that one out. I bet you my daughter Lydia would know. Fontanella at the line. Shorts. Jump ball. Possession arrow. Gives the ball to the Galloping Ghosts. Down again. Pass back. Ferris pops a three. She doesn't go. Dustin up. Nice pass over Ryan the Little Lion Morrison now with seven points. That's Dustin again. Dream looking to go coast to coast. Pulls up, gets a shot. Got 
They're going to call Dustin on the charge. Ferris had possession. I mean, had position is what I'm trying to say. So, good play. Liam comes up with it. Morrison has to go through on Panzarelli right there. Backs out. Well, I'm trying, looking for a LaFleur inside. Back out. One minute left to go in the game. Cats up 82 29. It's getting back tomorrow night for the Lady Cats against us. It's Fontanella with a nice hustle play. Up off the glass. Fontanella still hustling at the end here. Down 82 31 now. But they're doing good. Still playing hard. Foul called on uh, Ben Hanford, I believe. They say 13, 14. No, 14 is uh, Luke Tucker Shepard. Sorry about that. And this will send the dream. Dustin Pantarelli. The American dream, Dusty Rhodes. In reference to other uh, say Pantarelli. Off on the first one. Once again, our sponsors tonight are Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522 eSport, Hayes Athletics, Green Mountain, Tech, Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC, Jumpstart Your Future, Andrew second shot, short. Rebound, Ghost, 35 seconds to go. Ferris, looking inside, nothing there. Back here, near side, Davignon, back out to Ferris. Ferris going to launch a three. That one's off. Rebound. Ferris tried to go and get his own rebound. Nice hustle. And here is Sellis Sullivan. Keep going. Over there. Follow it up. Ryan the Little Lion. Ryan Morrison. Nine points. And we have four seconds. Three, two, one. Ferris puts up a three. Makes a three right at the buzzer. Joey Ferris gives himself eight points on the night as it is your Hayes and Union Wildcats winning big over the Randolph Gallatin Ghosts, starting their defense of their Division III title with a resounding 84-33 victory here in the 7th Annual Dave Morris Classic. So that sets up uh, Randolph and Williamstown playing at 5.30 on Friday night in the consolation game. Then we're going to have the big celebration for all our championship teams in between games, and then it'll be the tip-off for the championship game, which will feature your Hayes and Union Wildcats taking on the Lamoille Lancers. Back tomorrow night with uh, Lady Cats action against Oxbow. Until then, live every moment, love every day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.